from underatexasky.com and I am bringing you another wreath today. Um, if this is going to be very different than um, the other wreaths that I usually show you. Generally we work in deco mesh, um, poly, burlap, uh, grapevine wreaths, but today I'm going to show you a wreath that is made from tulle. And this is the simplest wreath. This may possibly be the simplest wreath to make in the history of wreath making. Um, it's so simple. Uh, before we get started, though, I do want to remind you to uh, run over to undertexasky.com when you get a chance and see some of the other projects that we've done. We've got so much out there. And like I tell you every video that I make, that if you only subscribe to my YouTube channel, which of course I want you to do, and of course just click here to do that, so you can see all the videos that I do. I try to put out one uh, with something new at least every month, month and a half, something like that, depending on what's going on in my life. And um, so be sure to do that. And on undertexasguy.com, we've got so many things. There's recipes. Oh my gosh. And then we also have dogs in my house. And that is my new Yorkie who is very mean to my other dogs. For some reason, he's always barking. Sorry about that. Hopefully they'll stay quiet the rest of the time. Um, the mean man thinks that's really funny. That's his little buddy, uh, Rocket, the Yorkie. Um, but anyway, uh, under TexasGuy.com, we've got recipes and different kinds of crafts. We're, as a matter of fact, doing one today. I'm going to show you how to make a wooden tray. Super simple, super easy. Um, there's all sorts of things. Our link party that I'm a part of, Friday Favorites, um, every Friday we put a link up to that and that will take you to a plethora of other people's blogs where you can see uh, blogs on everything from home improvements to recipes to just straight up inspiration. Um, I, I encourage you to check it out. But today what we're doing is this, I'm going to do a springtime wreath here in Texas right now, even though it's February, it has been Temperatures in the 80s, it has felt very spring-like, and I know some of y'all are buried in snow. Hopefully this will get you thinking about warmer days, uh, sunshine and flowers. But what we're going to do today, and I've already started this wreath, um, I'm about halfway through with it, but the materials that you're going to need, so easy, nothing much. A styrofoam wreath, and this is one of the foam um, extruded wreaths. Um, it needs to be round, I'll get one of the square ones. It's it, it, you could do it, but it's not going to look as good. Um, so be sure you get one of the rounded, cornered uh, styrofoam wreaths. This one's a 14-inch wreath. Um, and then I'm using tool, and I used um, the tools that you get that are on the roll. Uh, these are available in the craft stores, usually in the wedding section, and they've got all colors. I've made several of these wreaths um, for different occasions, and um, it's it's not difficult to work with but you know it's super thin and um, staticky that's why I have the static guard um, it tends to stick to you when you're cutting it and it'll stick to each other and it'll it just sticks everywhere because of the static um, and then I've got just some embellishments I have no idea what I'm going to put on this um, I've got some little hummingbirds some big birds bird's nests butterflies I've got this nifty sign that says spring, which I really love, and I may use that um, on this. It has a lot of the colors that I'm using. And this particular wreath, <laughs> using a white-based wreath is really um, a better option than green, but when I was at the craft store today, they didn't have any white. And so I went ahead and went with green. I thought, I'm doing springtime, green is spring, and um, but I would probably do white. I could have painted this, but uh, I didn't want to mess with it. Um, and then I'm using four different colors of tulle. I'm using orange, green, yellow, and pink. And I cut these to 20 inch lengths. And that's the most tedious part of this process. Um, and it's gonna, it takes a lot. Um, I made another wreath with this uh, tulle, with the other colors besides the orange. And so, um, it goes a long way, but with these, I cut them into 20 inch strips. Just measure up to 20, cut. Measure up to 20, cut, and then just stack them up. And then all you're gonna do, I'm telling you, this is just so amazingly easy. Um, and that's why I love it, and it's quick too. Um, all you're gonna do is you're gonna come and, and get your pattern down um, for however you're going to have your um, colors go. You wanna you know, be consistent 
um, think about what you're doing. And so mine go, and I'm squeezing them together here, and I'll show you how, you know, what I'm doing there. Um, I, cho I chose to go green, but I did green, yellow, pink, orange. So I've already got a green one on here. So I'm going to take my yellow length of tool, and I'm just going to wrap it around the styrofoam wreath. And I'm going to tie it in a double knot. Now I've seen some people do this where they use kind of a slip knot. I don't like that idea. I like to know that it is going to stay. And so I put it in a double knot. And then it kind of looks kind of wild. It just flattens out. But then what you're going to do is you're just going to scooch it over next to the last one that you did. And you can see it fluffs, it fluffs that up. So that's the yellow. And I honestly, I cannot tell you how many of the, those I cut. I just, I cut until the roll was gone. And, um, and then you can kind of eyeball uh, what's gonna happen. Because I honestly, since I was starting with tool that I'd already used and not fresh rolls, um, I'm not sure how far it's gonna go. So I may have to spread these out a little bit. That, you know, that's, you can make it as thick as you want it with your um, ties as close together as you'd like. Really, the fuller, uh, the better. So the more you can put on here, the better. But you can only go as far as your materials are going to take you. And so I don't know if Mean Man, you can show. You see, I've got mine butted up pretty close together. You can still see the wreath form um, through the, um, the tool. I don't have it bunched up so close because I don't know if I'm, gonna, I'm afraid I'm going to run out. I mean, I'm more than three quarters or halfway done, but let's just wait and see how it goes. And then you just continue. I mean, I'm telling you, this is so easy. You can do this with your kids. Your kids would love to do this. Um, it's a great project for Easter and so on. But I'm going to continue to tie these on until I get through the rest of the wreath, and then I'm going to show you. Um, some embellishments that we're going to put on here and um, how I'm going to do that and um, I'll be back in just a second. I hope you got that. Just I'm tying these on with double knots over and over again all the way around the wreath and I'll be right back. Okay so I've uh, finished tying all of the tool onto the wreath and um, oh you know what I counted how many there were and the mean man just had me start listening to Waylon Jennings, and I can't remember what I, I think it was 96, <laughs> I think, because I love Waylon Jennings. <laughs> I think there are 96 uh, of the tool, the 20 inch cuts on the tool that I put on here. And then I just took the, um, the little spring, um, little hanger, I bought that at Hobby Lobby last year, maybe the year before that. I'm sure I got it 50% off, which you should always do added a couple of little flowers on there and look at how pretty this is i mean this is the easiest easiest wreath that you will ever make and uh there's just you can do any colors matter of fact me man can you hand me that red and white wreath right there to your over to your shoulder um i did this one wreath um back oh maybe two years ago for valentine's day and it's pretty wrinkly because it was, I had it stuffed down in a closet. But you can see, yeah, I can see that one too. This is one that I also had done. I didn't, I haven't finished. You can see the white wreath behind it um, and how that makes a little bit better background. But this was, I mean, for Valentine's Day. And this is a 12 inch. If you do a 12 inch wreath form, then cut your tool to 15 inches long. Uh, you don't need 20 inches, it'd be way too long. Um, but really, honestly, it, you know, it straightens out really well. They, it holds up great. Um, it will stick to, if you've got a grapevine wreath around or whatever, it'll stick to that. Um, and here's another springy one that, like I said, I'd started that um, I used a white wreath background. Uh, but it's just so easy. And the way I hang them, um, I just take an S hook. I don't know why I have two on this one, but I take an S hook and, um, or an S pin, and I just stick it in there. And I leave a little bit of space where it can go on a hook. And it's so light. I'm telling you, it's really, really lightweight. Now, when you put an element on there, um, it's going to be a little bit heavier. You might want to tie a ribbon around the top of it and hang it from a ribbon if you want to do that. Um, but anyway, super easy. This is a 14-inch 
I extruded a foam, styrofoam wreath, um, and then I used four colors of tool, and I just bought it by the roll at the craft store, cut it to 20 inch lengths, tied it around in double knots all the way around, um, and I just try to keep the pattern the same, you know, whatever you're doing, so you don't have a concentration of one color in one place. Um, and then I just hot glued on a couple of daisies, and I wired this spring on there. I don't know if you can see, it's not terribly hidden, um, but I used the floral wire, but I think it's okay. If it's on a door, no one's gonna get that close to it to see that you can kind of see the wire where you hung it. I did do a dab of glue on the bottom, <coughs> To hold it up. Oh, there's Max. Hopefully he won't, he won't get going so we can finish. Okay, we may be okay. Um, anyway, here is the tool spring wreath. I hope that you try this. Try it with your kids. They would have a ball doing this. It's something very easy with your grandkids, um, which uh, I can certainly appreciate having become a grandmother uh, last year. Um, so anyway, I hope you give this a try. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you have all of the videos as they become available. You'll know immediately. Go to underatexasky.com. Go ahead and subscribe to my blog. Uh, that way, every Tuesday or most Tuesdays, I send out a newsletter and I'll let you see what we've been working on um, and just give you uh, some links there that you can go to if it's something that you're inter interested in. Um, otherwise, I hope that you try this and I hope that you will tune in the next time I have another video. I appreciate you watching so much. I love your comments. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. I answer questions every single day and there's nothing that makes me happier than when somebody who is watching the tutorials or enjoying the tutorials. I love to hear from y'all. So be sure and just say hi if you want to. I really appreciate it. It lets me know that y'all are out there and that you're enjoying things. Um, Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful spring, and I will see you next time. Blessings.